Hi everyone, in this video we are going to apply the new products from Hourglass, specifically their new stick foundation and the five new highlighting sticks that they have released. So I am going to show you how they apply to the skin, give you my first impressions on the formula and a mini review on how they work and you will see how they apply in real time. For the eye look, I used Stila's new uh, Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. If you want to see how all of those new shades apply in that new formula, please go click the upper right-hand corner for that video. And I also used some of the J Cat Prismatic um, Eye Cream type of eyeshadows, which are phenomenal too. So if you want to see a bunch of new J-Cat Beauty, which is very affordable, those products swatched um, that have just been released, then I will also have that video available to you, I think before this video goes up, but if not, just stay tuned for it. And lastly, the lip product is by LA Girl. I swatched all of the shades in this lipstick range, as well as applying a bunch of new uh, products for the face that they have also released. So the video on that is available for you too. As always, in the description box below, you will see links to where you can find and purchase the Hourglass products if you are interested in buying them. You will also have a link to the blog sale and a link to Ebates so that you can get some cash back on any purchase that you make through Sephora or Ulta. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on videos like this. All right, without further delay, let's get to swatching and applying the new Hourglass Stick Foundation and Stick Highlighters and see if they're worth the money. All right, so let's start with the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Now, this comes in a range of shades and retails for $46. This is what the packaging looks like. It is beautiful and unique. I chose the shade Buff and this is supposed to be a light shade with warm undertones. Mm, looks a little... Well, I do have yellow undertones, but this looks a little more on the slightly orange side. Let's see how it applies. I have already put on some Smashbox uh, foundation primer. Okay, so just kidding. I did my eye look before applying foundation, just in case there was some fallout. I did the eye look with the new Stila Shimmer and Glow eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. I did a whole swatch video on these, so make sure you go check that out. And then I topped it with one of the Prismatic Chrome eye mousses from J Cat Beauty. Woo, these are incredible. So if you haven't checked out that J Cat video where I swatch a bunch of their new products, make sure you go check that out too. All right, so back to applying the foundation. Yeah, you see how it's like, hmm, maybe, maybe a little too warm. Maybe I'm a little more neutral than I thought, but we'll work it out. So I'm gonna use a flat topped kabuki brush to blend out the foundation. does take a little pressure to buff this out, like with most stick foundations. It's not gonna be liquidy. And this one's not the most creamy. Let's build up the coverage here. It does build nicely. Getting noticeably more coverage on that second layer. I'm very happy with this color match. Um, I like the finish of this foundation a lot. It is matte without looking super dry on the skin. It has lovely coverage. I would say a solid medium coverage that can be put more sheer to give you light coverage. And it looks pretty smooth on the skin. So yeah, very expensive, but if you're willing to spend that amount, I think it looks really nice on the skin. And the description on the foundation says it's supposed to be full to medium coverage um, and good for basically all skin types. It's supposed to have a satin finish 
Um, it says a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage. All right, then we have the four hourglass vanishing flash highlighting sticks. There are four shades, so I will apply one shade on each cheek and we'll do two rounds so that you can see how all four of them apply and look at least on my skin. Oh, wait. I lied, there are five of them, so I'll show all of them to you so you can see what the colors look like. First, this is what the tubes look like, just like with the foundation, but in silver instead. And these retail for $42 each. This first shade here is Pink Flash. That's what it looks like up close. This shade is Bronze Flash. Gold Flash. Champagne Flash. And Rose Gold Flash. And the description says a highlighter in a smooth weightless texture designed to give you an instant flash of light for unparalleled glow and the most seamless highlight. It's supposed to be long wearing and have some sort of innovative formula that adjusts to your body temperature to blend effortlessly into skin. So I'm gonna actually start with bronze flash first. I'm gonna kind of work, gonna kind of work backwards so that the last shade that I put on is the one that stays on. Okay, so I'm just gonna swipe that and then I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. You could also use like a denser stippling brush to help blend this out or a small buffing brush. And on the other side, I'm going to apply Gold Flash. Okay, so Bronzed Flash is definitely a warm, uh, bronzy toned, very summery, shimmering shade, while Gold Flash is very pale, almost like a silvered uh, gold, which is weird to say, but it's just a very, very light gold shade. You can't, can't you can almost not see the gold tone to it. All right, I have wiped off the previous highlighters, reapplied foundation. We're gonna go in with Pink Flash. That one looks a little more subtle to me than the other ones. And then Champagne Flash. All right, so pink flash and champagne flash. And last up, I'm gonna apply rose gold flash. All right, and that's what that shade looks like. And just so you can kind of see what the shades look like really heavily swatched, there are all of them in the order that I applied them. All right, and there you have the look after I've completed the rest of the face. I have to say that I am liking more and more as time passes on the way that this foundation looks on the skin. I am not the biggest consumer of hourglass products just because they're so expensive. And with the ambient light powders and the strobing powders, I just thought that the hype was higher than the need and quality of those products, but I will say that I really, really like the way this foundation looks on the skin. So if you're willing and able to spend that amount of money on a stick foundation, this is definitely not one that will disappoint. Um, at least if you have normal to oily or combo skin, I think dry skin may need a little bit more moisture than what this stick foundation will give you. The highlighters too are beautiful. They look beautiful on the skin. They have a silky, smooth, um, almost liquidy slick kind of cream formula that blends really nicely. 
Do I think that it's worth $42 for a stick? Mm, probably not. I do think that you have drugstore options that look at the end of the day pretty similar to the way these look on the skin. But again, if you're into that high-end formula and you have the money that you are willing to spend on it, then I don't think that these will be disappointing to you at all in terms of quality. So those are my thoughts on these uh, new Hourglass products. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. You know that I am not, I don't have a lot of brand loyalty. So just because something is expensive or high end, for example, my Natasha Denona reviews, I to me, it's, I don't care what the name is on the product. If it doesn't perform well, I'm going to tell you that. And people kind of get mad at that because they're just so into the name of something or they're like, it costs this much or it's from this brand. It has to be good. That's just not true. You could just be throwing out your money just because some packaging has someone's name on it. But in this case, I think that these are probably worth the money if you are a fan of this kind of product. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.